In this video, you will learn how product data is structured and loaded into the SAP Marketing Cloud. In the first part, we will focus on the product entity type and how the data can be organized in the system. The main part of this video will be the data load and managing what is communicated as a second part. Here, the section will be divided into six high-level user stories. Let's look into the first part, which is about the product entity types. As communicated in documentation material, you should keep in mind that the products are a main entity type in SAP Marketing Cloud, beside the so-called interaction contact and the interaction. When we talk about products in general, we talk about the three information items, product hierarchy, product category, and the product itself. The product hierarchy is on top of the structure and describes the product classification on the highest level. The product category is the next identifier to cluster a bunch of products. Below of that, you find the single products which build a relation to categories and hierarchies which have been defined in the first step. Please note the following relationship details for a better understanding of the data model. A product can be defined as a base product or can be set in relation to one base product. Product can be a part of one or more product categories and or product hierarchies. One or more categories can be defined and nested. Each product category can be set in relation to a parent category. Each product and each product category can have a relation to one product hierarchy. This example describes how the structuring of a product could look like in the system. Note that in SAP Marketing Cloud, brands can be defined as separate information and don't have to be a part of this categorization structure. Also, be aware that external systems which hold product information probably have another way of data structuring. Now that we know how the three information items are related, we want to focus on the product hierarchy and product category. Both have to be processed together. In one CSV file, if a manual upload is intended, or via an OData payload which holds both items of information. The standard fields you are able to define for categories and hierarchies are Hierarchy ID, Category ID, Parent Category ID, Language, Category Name, and Category Description. An upload into the system can be done manually via a CSV template. Payloads with one or more products can be pushed to the system via all data. You can see the standard fields for the product here on the screen. The information of your loaded products can be investigated in a visual form by using the app Products, Use and Resonance. Beside the product details, you find information about the product reviews like comments and ratings assuming appropriate systems like rating systems, shops, or communities have been already integrated to your solution. With this application overview, the first part of the video about the understanding of the product entity types end. Let's now have a look at the main part of the video, the data load and managing of products in SAP Marketing Cloud. For a high-level overview, we focus on the user stories in the second part. Load products and product categories as master data into SAP Marketing Cloud. Check if the data was correctly loaded into the system. Manage the lifecycle of a product. Integrate products from leading systems. Create associations between business objects and products or product categories and the extension of products. Let's start with the loading of products and product categories, which represents our master data. As mentioned before, we have two possibilities to bring product data into the system, via OData API or via CSV templates. Focusing on OData API, we have the following relevant APIs available to push the data into SAP Marketing Cloud. It is suggested that the dedicated services API underscore MKT underscore Prodcat underscore Hierarchy underscore SRV and API underscore Product underscore SRV will be used as preferred option for such a data load. These services can be consumed by external applications. API underscore MKT underscore Prodcat underscore Hierarchy underscore SRV is used to load product hierarchies and related categories. Be aware that you should load the hierarchies and categories before product assignment. By using the batch mount, the import of product hierarchies, 
categories and their descriptions in multiple languages as possible. In a similar way, you can work with the API underscore MKT underscore product underscore SRV, which is used for loading products, assigning brand, product category, base product definition, as well as maintaining valid to date for product. Additional IDs can be added to products. It is possible to delete all product category assignments of a product category hierarchy for a product. Import of multiple products is possible by using batch processing. Please note that the product data can be loaded from multiple source systems, including different IDs by the definition of an OData payload. To get a closer view to the data load of products, please visit the SAP API Business Hub and navigate to the SAP Marketing Cloud located under the C4 HANA portfolio or navigate to the link shared below. Here, you will find a documentation about all available APIs and integration scenarios also related to services away from loading products. The primary knowledge base is the SAP Help Portal, which offers an integration guide on the SAP Marketing Cloud page. Here, you can find different scenarios documented from a business and technical viewpoint. If we open the integration guide and filter down the table of content for products, the documentation shows us some payload examples for loading product-related data. As you can see, a payload example for an OData batch request is shown. Some values may seem familiar with what you have seen earlier in this video. The payload examples you will find here can be really large, so please take your time to investigate the portal on your own. If you don't want to use the described APIs, a data import can be done by a CSV upload like mentioned earlier. This direct upload is done manually in the application called Import Data in SAP Marketing Cloud. This app also offers the possibility to download appropriate CSV templates for different kinds of business objects. The templates can be directly edited in Excel or a text editor and imported in the next step. For our scenario, the two options, product categories and products, are relevant to manage the product-related data load. Depending on the data you want to process, keep the radio button on the option of your choice and click on Download CSV Template or Import. For a data import, click on the Browse button first and import an edited file. The buttons are located on the bottom. Use product categories to load product hierarchies and related categories, and products to load products with or without assignment to categories and hierarchies. Remember that you should load hierarchies and categories before you load the product data itself. In the next step, we want to check if data was loaded correctly in the system. Therefore, we can open the application Import Monitor, which is used to control the data flow of imported data and give a status on how the information is processed by the system. By the usage of the three filters in Process, Error and Success, a quick status-related feedback from the system is possible. Each entry can be investigated further. It shows the related data and possible solutions in the form of a diagnostic report if problems occur. To get a fast visual feedback of your loaded data, you can also open the Products, Use and Resonance app, which we have seen before. Here, we can filter and search for imported products. Managing the life cycle of a product is an important task in terms of product maintenance. You are able to define a valid to date for each product to distinguish between expired and valid products. Valid to date is exposed in the product use and resonance app in the APIs. Expired products can be excluded in SAP Marketing Cloud applications and are not available for product recommendations. The products can be dissociated from their categories in the hierarchies by the use of delete method or by the use of function import of the service API underscore MKT underscore product underscore SRV. For more details on possible data changes on the product entity, please use the mentioned SAP sources to find the relevant HTTP methods for your field value changes. Let's now have a look at the integration part of product data, which is replicated from leading external SAP or non-SAP systems to the SAP Marketing Cloud. 
The slide which is shown here represents a high-level architecture, how a system integration with reference to our product integration scenario can look like. SAP and non-SAP solutions can be integrated by the usage of SAP Cloud Platform, which comes with additional services and adapters for data management on individual needs. It is possible to inbound SOA services, IDOCs, OData, and other data formats via Cloud Platform integration. The inbound for the SAP Marketing Cloud you can see on the right-hand side is based on the OData APIs, which have been already communicated in this video. Products and product hierarchies can also be loaded from SAP Commerce Cloud via product catalog system and the help of a standard adapter. The integration scenario is similar to others with the difference that a middleware solution for master data management is needed for integrating SAP Commerce or SAP Commerce Cloud. This middleware is a Java-based application called Data Hub. A good entry point for integration topics is the SAP API Business Hub, which was already mentioned in the context of product data law. Here, you will find different integration scenarios from SAP and partners, which help the user to understand how the integration flow can be modeled to your needs. By the help of an interactive process model, you can get an overview of the integration flow, which is essential to you. To get closer look on details, it is possible to navigate to each single element in the chart by selection. Again, you can use the SAP Help Portal and look through the integration guide for documented information on integration scenarios. As you can see, there are several options to import product, categories, and their hierarchies related data from different solutions like SAP Commerce Cloud, Enterprise Resource Planning, commonly known as ERP System, Customer Relationship Management System, known as CRM System, and Sales System, known as SAP Cloud for Customer. The import application in the Marketing Cloud solution provides the facility to upload the product and related details via CSV files. Feel free to stop the video to get a better understanding of the information shown on the table. In SAP Marketing Cloud, it is also possible to create associations to products. This could be relevant if you want to extend the system by additional information on existing business objects. Via the Custom Fields and Logic app, you can create custom fields fitting to your individual business needs. In general, these custom fields can be created for different kinds of business objects like the marketing campaign to get additional information in this area. Use this type, association to business object, and set the business object marketing product or marketing product category to create a relation between the entity of the chosen business context and the business object. These are the two options available for a product-related association. After the creation of the custom field, the business object campaign is able to hold an association to a single product or a category. On the screenshots, you see the Marketing Cloud event campaign holding a product reference to a product called Marketing Cloud at Sapphire. Of course, you can also specify a product as an event as it is the case here. An associated product, like shown here for a marketing campaign, could also be meaningful extension for a marketing program or a coupon code. Furthermore, this information can be used for analytics and reporting, for example in CDS views or in the SAP Analytics Cloud. This extensibility associations can be also used for a custom business object, for example to define product-specific discounts or vouchers. In this last user story, let us quickly show you what it would be like to extend a product. You can extend the APIs for products and product categories as well as the products use and resonance app using the custom fields and logic app according to your business needs. You can use the business contacts, marketing, product, and marketing product category for this purpose. Once the custom fields are created, you can add the fields to the UI using the adaptation at runtime. For more information, navigate to the link shown below. We have covered the second part of the video with focus on the data load and managing of products. And this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.